Hi, I'm Johnny from Bikeberry, and today I'll be showing you how to install and test your electrical components of the two-stroke engine kits. There are three electrical parts to the engine. There's the spark plug, the magneto loop set, and the CDI. The CDI can be mounted anywhere on the bike as long as you can reach the spark plug. The spark plug is placed on the head and the magneto loop set sits inside the engine. When it comes to wiring, you may need a splice of wire, which involves cutting and stripping the insulation away from the tip of the wire. But otherwise, it's pretty simple. You just plug in the male to the female end, and voila. So you connect the black wire from the CDI to the black wire from the magneto and the green wire from the kill switch. These wires are your ground wires that complete the circuit. Next, the blue wire from the CDI connects the blue wire from the magneto and the red and yellow wire from the kill switch. Now you can check to see if you're wired properly by moving the spark plug and checking for spark. You have to make sure it rests on the head cap to ensure visible spark. Rotate the rear wheel while engaged to create spark. If you're not getting spark, you have to check your electrical parts to see which one is not working. Click on the button here to skip to the diagnostic part of this video. If you are getting spark, then congratulations, start your engine and check your kill switch. And now that you have the bike running, simply press the kill switch. If your kill switch isn't working, check your wiring. Make sure the ground wires are ground properly. The next part of this video is the diagnostic portion. So you're not getting spark. The two main components that may cause that are the magneto and the CDI. In order to test these parts, you'll need an ohms meter. Before testing, make sure your ohms meter is rated at 2K or 2000. The readings are as followed. If your readings are normal and yet you are still not getting spark, the problem could very well be the spark plug. Replacing it should solve this problem. You can purchase one at bikeberry.com or grab an NGK-B5HS or an NGK-B6HS. A spark plug app of 0.14 is what is recommended. By no means is this the absolute way of testing your electrical components on your motorized bike, but this is the best way we've done it to get good results. If you have any suggestion or advice, or have a simple way of testing your electrical parts, you can send us an email at support at bikeberry.com, leave a comment on YouTube, or a comment on Facebook. We want to make these how-to videos the very best possible, so feedback is much appreciated, and thank you for watching.